I envision a future in which all warfighters across all domains are connected together in a joint synthetic training environment outdoors. When, when I used to fly F-22s, if I was going out to fly with my colleagues, you know, in simple terms, 50% of us would be going up there to train and 50% of us would be flying F-22s uh, to provide adversary training to train against. That's negative training. I want a world in which I, I taxi out with my colleagues and every time we go up to fly and train, we are training to do what we would be doing for real, being quote unquote, blue air, good guys. All adversities will be provided synthetically if we get this right. And that vision is very real. So the end state is every single day a pilot goes out to train, they're doing what they should be doing for real. And the adversaries are provided at scale, at frequency and at relevancy, synthetically outdoors up in the sky. Ultimately, we, we define the, the military metaverse as uh, a, an extension of that. And really, as we dig into that, what, what are we talking about with the metaverse? You know, a persistent, continuous, synchronous environment in which we can go train. What does that mean? Traditionally, as fighter pilots train, we go up, fly, we train, we come down, we land, we debrief the mission, and then the next day we'll go fly another mission. Well, if we can, if we can create living, breathing walls up there in the sky, outdoors, then we can start to do really interesting things commensurate with how we would conduct campaigns over multiple weeks. So if you, you layer our technology with artificial intelligence and you create synthetic worlds outside, you can now start to do campaign level training where you go and you, you fly a mission on day one, you exert effect, that effect has consequences, the enemy quote unquote adapts, and now you fly mission two, but it is a world that's living and breathing. Think of it as a massive multiplayer video game played over multiple days. Well, that now allows us to do some campaign level training, exercising national command authority from tactical, tactical operators on the ground or in the air, all the way up through the government. And that offers the opportunity for, for really, really interesting paradigm shift in training. That's what we're thinking about in terms of the metaverse. That's what the ultimate future is.